Good morning everyone. Welcome to another vlog. Mm, this video is this vlog is about my review of Frozen 2 that I saw last night. Let me tell you it was a overall good movie. Um and uh the cinema, the the auditorium that we were in was nice and big. It was it was uh I mean Because we, I am a man and I saw it at nine, at about ten, there were no kids at the, in the movie. Um, there were only these, um, there were only adults. Adult only, um, <laughs> there were only adults because that was a time when kids go to sleep and, um, and so. The overall movie was amazing. Um, I have to see how it compares to Frozen 1 because that was like in 2015 and I don't remember the, the first movie. In my mind, the second movie <laughs> is by all means awesome because the first I only got a chance to see Frozen 2 and I think that is better than Frozen the first Frozen movie because it has the story of Anna and Elsa and their village called Arendelle and Arendelle is is being threatened by by a storm, by a tornado, and uh, and Anna she uses her powers to help to prevent the the storm from destroying Arendelle. So, what is new about Frozen 2 is that Frozen 2 now has the soldiers of Arendelle and the other community and uh, the the actors are of course amazingly talented because they'll they're acting they're using their voice instead of like physical acting um I remember in my workplace there was a um, Inspired by Frozen 2, um, in the in the mess, and there was something for the children to do. Um, using the basis of the first movie, which was um, fr Frozen, like there were experiments and. And they were face painting and all that good stuff that kids love to do and 
because it's mainly a kids movie but it, but it's but it's not necessarily for the kids for kids to watch Frozen 2 because Frozen 2 is for everyone that loves Christmas season that loves um animation people who don't love um uh, violence um and all those other movies animation is good for those people who don't like me who don't like burn guns i almost as once but there's guns violence um there's SEX, which I won't mention out loud, um, and all these stupid movies, and uh, Brokeback, Brokeback Mountain, which is a movie for the LGBTQ community. Um, I don't love those kinds of movies. I love animation and comedy and... Um, a bit of like documentary style like like I saw earlier um that movie called um it was based on a British sitcom it was called um Coronation Street it was no it was similar to Coronation Street it was called <laughs> I don't remember the name, but I know when I see the movie, I can physically tell you. I was a visual learner, so I learned by seeing the movie again and again. Um, the British movie. You, when I go to Britain, I will hopefully see the the castle that it was filmed in. And looking at someone's backyard has given me an idea of having my own basketball net. But the thing is, I need a backboard in case of the ball going into someone else's neighborhood. As you can see, I'm, I'm in my loft slash studio slash Taylor studio slash, um, yeah, studio. Like you can see, there's my DJ equipment. Um, Luggages, this could be like my second, my second income, like a form of income because yeah, just a second form of income because the government of Ontario, I've had this trouble for three years. And uh, and I said enough is enough. I have to think about going into um, online business or even home business because the problems for the disabled community getting jobs in Ontario is second to none because I've experienced that disabled people are discriminated against like they see their, their disability and then they don't hire. I mean that's just wrong. When I get older and and I go in and I go into politics, I'm going to run on this platform that you, that the people 
employers need to hire disabled people because disabled people are just like normal people and they need income. ODSP is not, I mean, there's a grant in Ontario Gold on this Ontario Disability Support Program, but that is not adequate enough because life is just getting more expensive. From factors of global warming to high gas prices, transit, the cost of living, like, like I'm going to use an example. If you have a basement apartment in the in the city of Toronto, good luck finding an apartment because apartment is like one of the expensivest investment you can make. I live in the city of Markham and and let me tell you the fees are lower, the taxes are lower. Um like I'm living in a modern home built in nineteen ninety. And this is a forever home like as you can see it's it's pretty like the <laughs> please like my videos smash that subscribe button smash it too a million Remember to smash the subscribe button and as always remember to um remember to thumbs up this video like this video comment down below what is your favorite movie and uh, I'll also have a poll in the i card in the i'll have a poll right up there where my finger is pointing to um and uh and oh yeah the leaves are playing today the leaves are playing Calgary flames tonight at 8 30 p.m Remember guys to to smile more, respect one another and peace out.